everybody. Um, so uh, I'm working on a couple of games right now. Um, I uh, I want to run a an uh, alien one shot for my friends, right? Um, well, not a one shot, but like maybe like six hour game for my friends. Um, there isn't a whole lot of published stuff for alien RPG. Um, I don't know why that is, you know, it's just pretty new, new game. But, um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a, uh, I'm taking, well, stuff, a lot of kind of bits and pieces from different things. And then I'm, I'm making a campaign sort of based on like the thing, uh, in space. <laughs> um, we were talking about it and we wanted to do some kind of like classic sci-fi 80s tropes using um, alien RPG, right? So I'm also working on um, a, uh, um, a a Stars Without Number campaign, right? And uh, um, Stars Without Number is like the same thing. There's just not a whole lot of published uh, content out there. It's kind of more of an indie game. Um, this is a free PDF, by the way. It's one big chunky tome, um, and uh, it's um, the I would I would describe it as sort of like if you took Dungeons and Dragons and then you took Traveler, the game Traveler, and then mush them together, and then you added this really fleshed out, like very well explained psionic system that, uh, you know, is like a hard kind of sci-fi system to replace magic. Um, and, but it's a really, I love the system. Um, and I, you know, I really, really like the lore. Um, but, uh, basically I want to lift a whole bunch of stuff from Traveler. <laughs> and I want to lift, um, a whole bunch of stuff from, uh, Scum and Villainy. And I want to put it into this world, right? So I'm doing some, some world building, sci-fi world building stuff, right? And um, so uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the world building apps that I looked at, kind of like my top five, top four or five, I think. Um, and uh, it might not be what you think. Uh, they're all free, they're all online resources. And uh, it's going to become painfully obvious which one is my favorite because I'm just going to beat you over the head with it. Um, but the, <clears throat> um, the there's there's some apps like it's not good. This is not going to be a fair and balanced comparison. It's going to be a totally biased, unfair uh, comparison. And but some of that is influenced by the fact that these are sci-fi settings. So like if I was doing uh, a D and D campaign. I might I might use a different world builder app, but um, so I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna show you kind of the runners up. Um, so campfire, uh, roll twenty, um, <clears throat> notion, and um, world anvil are 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 some of the ones that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, yeah, I think. It's, it, it is going to be really painfully obvious which one is my favorite and I'm going to beat you over the head. I'm going to beat you over the head with it, but I think that you, you're probably going to agree with me that this, this, um, this system that I'm using is like, so like super customizable and, um, that there's some, there's a lot of reasons why it's the best. So. Anyways, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Let's do some uh, world building. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> runners up. <laughs> um, this is the the first um, world building app that I looked at, <clears throat> having having already used one of them for for over a year. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, Campfire. Campfire is a, it's, uh, all of these are free, by the way. Um, Campfire is a free writer's resource, um, and <clears throat> it's, 
It is. It's very much more tailored to writing. Um, so let's just take a look. They do have kind of like a preset for um, for an RPG, right? So if we, if I, I picked that and um, what we've got up here is we've got all kinds of uh, RPG-ish kind of things and then we can check them or uncheck them, you know, based on what we want to do, right? And there are some some things that I really like in this. Um, so <clears throat> let's say that you've you've got a, a, a character, and then this is this would apply to um, NPCs or uh, um, player characters. Like we're gonna go in here. Um, <clears throat> this is the thing though, is that it's not very easy to navigate. It's kind of counterintuitive how it, uh, how it's, how it navigates. So, wait, where's the, uh, yeah, here we go, manage attributes. So they kind of give you this, like, questionnaire type thing about this character, like, um, what is their name? What's their age and birthday? Where do they live? What's their gender? Um, you know, this is an important stuff. Like, um, do they have any relationships? Uh, is anybody going to care about them if they go missing? If not, then why not? You know, it's like, uh, that's, this is all kind of important stuff as far as, um, uh, what, um, what this character is about and what they're doing in the world. And, um, uh, yeah, like, let's see if we want to go to maps. Nope, nope. This, it kind of forces you to, like, boot out and then go back into the, uh, like, the main menu and reboot. And, uh, like, if I want to make, if I want to do a new map, and come over here. And, uh, so... You can kind of see like what this is like. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's it, it's not my favorite, but I do like how there are some there are some things about it that it like it sort of forces you to build out your world um, by asking you questions. Uh, and I think it, it might be a lot better. For for writing, um, just kind of like setting up, or doing world building for like a novel or something like that. So let's look at one that's specifically for uh, for game for uh, like RPGs, right? Um, so this is uh, World Anvil. Once again, there's free. So, and then Campfire, there is a free version. I think, well, I think it is just free. Um, World Anvil, it is, there is a free version. And then there's like a paid upgrade version. Roll20, there, again, there's, you know, you can use a free version, then you can buy modules. And then um, Notion, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with Notion. Um, so, yeah, so World Anvil, much, much more intuitive, much, much easier to navigate around. Um, but, so I think this is a really great um, free resource for world building. But the thing is, is that um, I feel like it's very, very tailored to D&D. &D. So if you're doing anything else besides D&D, &D, I feel like it's just not as useful. Um, like there's, there's, uh, things that you can do with it that are, are really cool. Um, like I can go over here and, um, I can create an item. Let's say the sword of booger picking. And then, um, it, they, there could be like things that happen with this, uh, this very special sword, right? 
or I can add tags on it like it could be cursed. And then um, I can uh, keep track of it, like who has it, because I know that they're cursed because they're carrying it, right? And then um, there's other things like you can go in here and, well, you could create custom spells, your own religions, or um, they, uh, I think they, I don't think that they have a, um, uh, like a, a, a preset, like I, I went ahead and picked, this is D&D um, &D 5e, um, but this is just, you're going to get this, um, this, this dashboard no matter what. Um, but like, it, it would be nice if they did have like some of the D&D religions or um, they might have to pay like a licensing fee or something for that and it's totally free, but um, you can go in and, and do your own organizations, your own religions, and you know, um, just all kinds of cool world building stuff, but very, very, very tailored to D&D. &D. Um, very, very D&D uh, um, heavy. So, um, it's another honorable mention, but it's, this is a good, this is a really good one. And then, um, uh, uh roll 20, right? So roll 20, um, you can, we can play, like, if I, uh, this is one of, this is the last game that I ran on, on roll 20. This is, this is D&D. Um, but then this is my map. And then while we were playing online, um, these are invisible to the players until I, until I reveal them. Um, kind of forgotten how to do some of this stuff. I don't, I don't play as much online anymore. But, um, let's say that, um, I have, I have, um, uh, characters, right? So I can go in here and then I can pull up the, um, I can like show just an image to, to my players, or I can, um, uh, I, you know, I, I have, um, like magic items and things like that. So, you know, again, like I can, I can show, I can show this, this part, um, to my players. And then if it's cursed or something like that down here, then I can put that in there and then my players aren't going to know, but I'm still going to know who has this magic item. And then, I, and then I can also go into, um, I can, uh, <clears throat> do, uh, lots of, uh, lots of world building in here. Like, uh, I can, I have all kinds of, uh, NPCs. Um, here we've got Finna Get It. Um, it's my, one of my favorites. Uh, Finna Get It is a, an acolyte. And, um, but, you know, again, like, um, this is, uh, this is, this is D&D, &D, but let's say that, um, let's say that, okay, I want to, want to back out. Like, you can, you can also make, like, macros for, like, dice rolls and all kinds of, all kinds of stuff like that, right? But, um, let's say that I want to make a, uh, a new game and then, um, <clears throat> I want to play, uh, the, um, uh, alien, right? So I, I, I paid for the, the alien module and uh, it was like $30 for the starter kit. And, um, but this is going to, um, this is going to have everything in it. Like um, there's gonna be all kinds of stuff in here. 
that, um, <clears throat> let's see, all kinds of assets, like uh, I've got, oops, come on, oh, here we go. Oh, I guess not. So yeah, we've got um, uh, your we've got our, our rule book. We've got okay. Actually, I actually haven't looked at this yet, but um, this is great for playing online. <laughs> um, <clears throat> why don't you show my? I did buy this, but um, once again, you know, this is, a, I think I'm just gonna pause it here and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I found it. So um, that was just, th this is the images. I, I, I've forgotten how to use Roll20. Um, so over here we have everything. Um, we have uh, our, our timeline of like events and um, let's see, we've got our characters um, and again, you know, I can show these to the players and uh, keep other things secret um, <clears throat> and um, you know, we've got all kinds of like rules and uh, like weapons and stuff like that and um, you know, you've got your, your maps and all that good stuff, right? Um, player characters, uh, NPCs, maps, and uh, this is this is all great, right? Um, but it costs money. And then if you want to do it yourself, uh, if you want to build your own kind of uh, world in here, it's um, it's not as intuitive. It's not as easy as I would as I would like. Um, but you know, again, that's um, that's another option. So this is a this is this is like I would say the first runner up, um, because I could build out a, a a campaign in here and then I could play online, or I could just use it on my computer as my notes, and uh, and then you know if I. Um, if I want to look out, look out what a, a, a service pistol does. Um, service pistol. I know I can see exactly what um, you know what what that what that is, and then it's it's in this nice drop down menu on the side, right? I know exactly how many dice or. Um, Plus two, plus two bonus. So, so uh, alien RPG that means two dice. But um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's uh, that's roll twenty, right? Um, and I think that there's there's a lot of people that might look at this and then their eyes kind of cross too, right? It's like it's not quite as intuitive and easy to use as as you might like. Um, so, and then now, um, let's take a look at, uh, Notion, right? So this is going to be very, very biased. Um, I personally, I, I really like Notion because it is so super, super customizable. Um, I can just do whatever I want in here. Um, I, uh, so I, I actually, I, um, I saw, I, I first got turned on to this by, um, I was watching, uh, uh, Sly, Sly Flourish, um, uh, this guy, he is a, a YouTuber, um, and then he was doing a video where he was talking about his, um, how he had set up his game using um notion so he has he this is his his setup right and then this is this is just fantastic because it's everything in a glance right and then let's say that 
who want to look at, uh, he's got two kind of example characters in his game. And then he has, um, this is just, this is basically just a database tool, but it's super, super customizable. But, you know, you could use this to do anything like you could use it to track initiative um, and then just kind of change these cells and like, you know, do hit points or whatever in, in, in the cells and it will, you can automatically make it put the top initiative in the top or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Right. So he's, but he's got two kind of example characters that are in his game. And then we know that, um, Odell over here speaks common, draconic, dwarvish, goblin, orc, and thieves can't. We know his passive insight, his, um, passive perception and uh you know he um we could we could put initiative in here we could put hit points um and uh or like say like the cursed item thing like we know who is carrying the cursed item and what it does to them and um this is uh once again just a, a drop down menu so um, I can go over here and then look at items and then we've got uh, a cursed item. Um, so I, this, you know, again, like he's got his image here and then he can show that to his players without telling them exactly what it does. Um, and uh, he can, or, um, he could also, uh, and then this is sort of based on Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, but there's no spoilers in here. Um, I, I use the same app in Rhyme of the Frostmaiden to keep track of all of our session notes. And then I've got, like recently I've got an NPC that I added here because I just, that's one thing where when I'm playing, um, I, I really, I like to have my like NPCs and then um, I don't have to go digging through things to, uh, like, okay, Kara Koenig, um, that, that, I, I, I will probably go back later and make a little entry for Kara Koenig and, and things that are in Kara Koenig in this game, right? So, but let's go back to his, his game here, uh, but you can see it very, very easy to navigate. And it's actually super easy to use too. It, it takes a little bit of um, getting used to, but it's super, super easy. Um, so what he, the way that he has things organized though, like um, we've got, we've got all of these, uh, these pieces, right? Um, let's go to villains. Um, so this is um, this is one of his NPCs. So he all he does is that he puts in tags, right? So it's an NPC and it's a villain. So if we go back up, then um, then we can go into NPCs, and I know that he's going to be there too because he's an NPC and a villain. And. Uh, I can, uh, but I can go into uh, villains, and then you know it'll talk about the, what the, specifically what villains do, and then you know if I wanted to, I could go in here, and then I could add um, that maybe they're like low level uh, th thug or something, and not like a main villain. You know, like I can just add tags for whatever I want. Um, and then the, the one thing that he didn't explain that I had to kind of reverse engineer is, um, is how to link up all of these things. Um, so, you know, again, he's got, he's got like his um, session notes over here and then um, got an example session. And these are you could you could make these uh, these scenes where um, like these could this could be your your session notes right this is the first first session this happens this happens this happens and then you could make it um, 
you could check off things like events that happen, right? Um, and then just, or just make sure that you don't forget things. <clears throat> so, uh, it looks like he even has some kind of HTML, like, macros in here to just add uh, initiative and stuff like that. Um, so, I, I, uh, I wanted to do the same thing, um, so I started to plug in some things from a, uh, a, a game, um, I downloaded this, uh, this is, uh, uh, a drive through RPG, and, uh, this game, um, Black Swan, was uh, 99 cents. <laughs> um, so it's what I want to do is sort of cannibalize it and uh, I want to like use all of the um, the NPCs and um, uh, like this is just a, a PDF and it's it's not too hard to um, to navigate and stuff like that but um, what if I uh, what if I wanted to take all of this and sort of plug it into a um, just uh, make a uh, a database? Um, so the way that this that this one works, and then the way that I've been setting these up, um, like I've I've been doing some world building and like in this one. Um, I, uh, I, st I started to just do drop-down menus. Um, like, I, I have my, uh, my universe. Um, so, let's hear, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about this, uh, this, like, world-building thing for this, um, Stars Without Number campaign that I, that I want to run. Um, the, the known universe is very large, spanning multiple galaxies. Space travel is very commonplace. Although most people do not leave their home worlds during their lifetime, and space travel for pleasure is very rare and reserved for the super rich. Most commercial space operation is reserved to industrial type application like asteroid mining, space trucking, and satellites and the like. Um, so this universe, I want my players to be like very uh, blue collar kind of, right? Um, but what I, I can totally customize everything, right? So I've got my, um, uh, my planet naming convention over here, or I guess these would be more like population, um, designation kind of, this is just a, a table, like this is a spreadsheet. Um, and then, but I've got the, the tags in here too, right? Like, um, uh, LV, this is a nod to Alien, um, LV, like a LV426 in Alien, the LV stands for life viable. People say LB426, but it's LV426, the, uh, the planet in, um, uh, where Hadley's Hope was in, um, Aliens. So LV is like the first tag, and then you could go down the list, and, uh, I was just trying to kind of rack my brain from, uh, astronomy, like some different kinds of things that would, um, uh, be present on worlds like high gravity, low gravity, um, asteroid belt, space station, desert world, fluid world, um, mining. And then I've got also, um, let's say that, uh, there's a planet where they do lots and lots of mining and then they export lots of raw materials, and then there's some type of industry that happens somewhere else, and then they might import food or something like that. Or like an agricultural world might export lots of food, and then that's just the tag that I will put on the planet. And then I can uh, create uh, another ba database that has all of my uh, my planets in it, right? So I've got my my first planet right here, which is um, where the uh, the players start out. Um, this is uh, New Eden, or 
LVDEMI426, right? So life viable desert planet mining intensive. Um, whoops. And um, so take another little look at my, my world building, right? Um, this planet was colonized by low-tech Mormons and high-tech cloners at roughly the same time. They do not get along. The Mormons launched a colony ship decades before the cloners did, but because the cloners were able to load up a ultra-fast spaceship full of embryos and a few androids to take care of the test tube babies, they were able to beat the Mormon colonists there by a slim margin, and uh, small-scale skirmishes ensue because of their differing ideologies. So part of what I was thinking about doing with this world um, was, was um, I think that there's going to be like a, a brewing war between humans and um, AI. And then I haven't decided whether I want like alien species on this planet, um, but like the the players are gonna kind of be like right in the middle of it, um, <laughs> but but you can see like from the from the the front page like kind of like where this is going, right? So and then this is you know this is great. I just cut and paste um, uh, uh, Sly Flourish's um, his his player character thing. And then put it in my game because Stars Without Number is uh, it's sort of space D and D. Um, it's 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 different. Um, <clears throat> there's no magic. There's a really fleshed out psionic system. It's a it's a really cool game, but it's for another video. So <clears throat> I can just organize things by by a, a drop down uh, menu, right? But what I started to do instead was um, sort of use this type of format where um, I have like a master database, right? And then I just put everything in there. Uh, I have, um, we've got a, um, got a, a, a sample NPC here. Um, <clears throat> So this is the um, uh, the the astronomer <laughs> on on the uh, the research facility, and um, <clears throat> she. Uh, you can see that we have her tags up here, NPC, and then her name, and uh, I'll show you how I use those later. Um, and then it's got some information up here about like how to role play her character. Um, so she is very uh, bookish, you know, she's a, an attractive uh, young woman, but she, if people try to engage with her, then she's going to be like, I'm really busy, you know, can it wait? Um, she just seems to only have a positive relationship with her research assistant. So I'm thinking about doing this with alien RPG. So I want to have uh, friends and then rivals, and then um, uh, um, <clears throat> the sort of build up some of the tension between people. Where it's like uh, basically this 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 game is um, is sort of loosely based on like the thing in uh, in space, right? So, but I've got my, I've got my master database here, right? And then I've got just everything in here. Um, here's some information about the, uh, the dig site. And then I, I, I'm sort of, sort of cutting and paste, pasting things from, um, this, uh, this PDF that I downloaded. I wish I could just cut and paste. It's not in, it's not in that kind of format. Um, but I'm, I'm sort of taking this stuff and then like, I also have, um, I can create a, let's say, let's, let's make a new, um, new NPC, right? 
And then I'm going to add a picture for them from the um, from the whoops, where is it? This uh, this is the the NPC um, portraits that came with um, with the uh, bear with me here. This is the 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 all the NPC portraits that came with the PDF. So let's see. I haven't done one for um, Ashad yet. You let me do it that way, please. Okay, I have to do it like manually. Okay, uh, here we go. We've got all of these uh, these portraits, so I can just use these. I don't I don't like this this uh, illustration style as much. But just for the purposes of this, um, this is going to be a, an NPC, and then uh, this is his portrait, and then I'm going to put um, a shot in there too. So, um, but this um, this just goes into my uh, my um, master database, right? So then what I do is um, I, uh, because I, I tagged him as an NPC, oh no, something broke. Um, what I do is I go into my NPC database, right? And then I'm gonna sort everything in here um, by uh, tags. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so I have I have this. Uh, um, this is a linked database, right? So this goes to the uh, the original database, and um, it just has these. It has all of the NPCs here. So I can go in here though. So I can you know I have my my root menu. I can go in here to uh, to NPCs, and then I can add something in here. Here, um, about Shad. Shad, super cool. Um, and uh, because this is a is a linked because these two databases are linked, um, I, uh, if I go back to the master database, any changes that I make in either page, um, everything is gonna stay the same. So if I add any, uh, any like notes about players like interacting with this person, or if they are like secretly the thing or something, then I can put that here um, and then but there is so much stuff that you can do with, um, with Notion. Like, let's say that I want to um, put uh, session notes in here, and then um, I can have um, uh, a date on here, right? So then, using the same database, I can go over to my, uh, my session notes and then I can have the date in there. So as soon as session one happens, then I can I can pull up the date, and then I can also put tags in here, or um, just put tags on whatever happens in in my um, in my notes. You know, so let's say that you know eventually. Um, I have a whole bunch of material that's related to uh, Keishi. So because I put the, the, the Keishi tag in here, I can go through everything and then just look for anything related to Keishi. 
So let's say that I want to, um, I, I like having this database down here, but I want to, uh, I want to hide it. Or I could apply some other filter later to this, some other um, uh, sort for a tag, like, uh, let's see, I already have locations, I already have session notes, I already have NPCs. Um, I could make one for uh, player characters, but uh, let's say that I just want to hide this and just give it its own page. What I can do is just go ahead and, um, well, you can just go down here and make a new page, but the, the, um, the hotkey is just the backslash. So I can do all kinds of things here. I can make, um, you know, like, uh, well, I'm not going to get into that right now, but I can make uh, a new page and this is just going to be, um, let's say, yeah, let's say player uh, characters. And then I'm not really going to do any of this either right now either. So I'm just going to hit enter and then go back up to my, uh, my root menu. And then I'm just going to drag all of this into um, inside of there. So I can I can apply that filter um, uh, later for to just show player characters in here. <clears throat> so that's kind of like the 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 idea. Um, so I'm going to show you how how to do it though from scratch how to make like a, a whole a whole new game like I'm I'm going to I'm going to take uh I'm going to take all of my everything that I've done over here in uh Fear Factory and I'm going to put it into a uh a, a new game that's that's set up like this with a root menu and then filters um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, go ahead and make a new page. And then I'm going to call this uh, Fear Factory 2, um, or Electric Boogaloo. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and make a new database. And um, it, it doesn't really matter what kind of database you make because you can change it later. Um, but just for now, I'm just going to make a gallery because it's sort of the easiest to look at. Um, and then you automatically, it automatically makes th this kind of cell format like this. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't want this one. Um, so I've just got like a couple of empty pages here. And then I'm going to go um, back up. Oh, oh wait, I'm gonna, so this is my my root page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Oops. I'm going to make another page. Um, so, but this is going to be actually this is going to be my um, my root uh, game database and then I'm going to make a new page and I'm just going to call this one uh, fear factory to elect elect electric Boogaloo. you get the idea um, and then I'm just going to uh, drag the the database into this new root menu. Um, so what I want to do here, okay, that's annoying. I want to get rid of that. Um, what I, let's go ahead and let's let's add the cover. So I already um, I already kind of like the one that I had. So I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take this. OK, 
Can I just move all of these? Everything else you can just move around. You can just kind of grab it over here and then put it into a new, um, like I can go ahead and do that now actually. I can put this into, just drag it all over to, um, don't really have much else in here. Um, setting. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to change this, all this eventually, because I want this to look more like a, a space, scary sci-fi. Um, so in my, in my, my database, right, I can start, um, I can start making things. Um, so I'm going to open up my, my new page. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to keep my, um, my planet that, uh, let's see, what was it? LV, well, I can just, uh, I can just drag and drag and drop that. Whoops. I can I can drag and drop my the the new Eden stuff uh, and and put it into um, my uh, my my new my new my new bleh, my new database. So I can I can tell it that that's where I want it to go. I want to put it back into the uh, the root menu of uh, Fear Factory 2 uh, and just just move it there uh, same thing with my my naming convention put it back into um, and put this into my game database so this is just this just has its own page now. So this is this the tags for this is going to be planet. And then I know that it um it has these uh these characteristics. So it's a life viable desert world mining and then I can um uh, create a, a relation later that will show if I if I want to look up which planets are desert planets or mining planets in a database later, then I can do that later. But for now, this is just going to be a planet. Um, so let's let's make a an NPC. Uh, I'm going to call you uh, David the Android. And then I'm just going to put uh, NPC in there. And uh, I can, um, you know, I can start putting in some stuff about David. Um, so David was one of the original Uh, inhabitants of the planet. Um, and say that this guy is is one of the the uh, the NPCs that one of the original androids who raised some embryos from uh, uh, raised some test tube babies from the the, the super fast uh, spaceship from uh, from before. This is based on. Um, Raised by Wolves on HBO. It's a super super good series, but I want to I want to use it. Um, so he raised test tube babies to be athe atheists.
he has an intense dislike of religion. And uh, this is just just sort of a placeholder for now, but because it, because it's in everything is going into this uh, root game database, um, what I can do now is I can go back up to um, Fear Factory and uh, let's see what else what's in, what's in setting uh, universe. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and drag all, put all of this back in here too, and then I'm going to get rid of Do I need any of this? I don't think so. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, universe, um, yeah, I'm going to put, oh, I'll put my planet naming convention in here. Um... Just kind of cut and paste all of this stuff. And uh, you know, put everything back into my root uh, root menu. Whoops, not that one. Um so create a new page for universe and I'm just going to cut and paste all that information that I already wrote and put that into here. And then I can put the uh, universe <laughs> tag in there. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to use that one, but I can I can make it. So this just has some information about my you know my universe. And uh, get rid of this one. And let's see what else. I do want to put that in here. I guess it won't let me put it in if it's just the, the two. Um, but so now I have my my root, right? Uh, so so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a, uh, a linked database. And this is um, this is where I'm just going to put those filters onto what I already did. Um, so the, the link database is just going to go ahead and, um, let's see, root game database, fear factory two. So this is where, this is where I'm linking to, uh, it's just this, this, uh, this page. And then it has everything that I've already put in there, right? So then I can go ahead and go in here and I can put a filter on that. Uh, so first off, I'm going to change the view, and I'm going to change it into a gallery. And uh, and then I'm going to put a sort on that, and I'm going to use those, uh, those tags. And then because I want to, uh, to kind of hide this, I want to turn it into... Uh, turned into its own page. But um, I want to call this one uh, this is going to be my planets. 
Then I'm going to put the filter on there. And then uh, I'm going to pick from this drop down menu, I'm going to pick uh, planets. So that's the, the filter. So now I have my, um, I can put that in here now, I think. No. Accidentally change that. So I'm gonna just make a new a new page for this, um, and I'm going to call it yeah planets. And then I'm just gonna put that in there. Change this from a page turn that sorry I, I just switched that from a page into um, a uh, an inline piece so this is just this is my uh, my gallery and then I uh, you know I can put other filters on it like when uh, when it was made or it just whatever right so let's see I want to create a new page for my um, my just my NPCs so I'm going to create a new uh, links database down here and I'm going to link it to um, Fear Factory 2 root game database and then I'm going to put that um, that filter on there of um, whether or not the tag contains NPC. So then it's just going to show David the Android down here and then I'm, I want to change the view to a gallery. Uh-oh, got rid of my filter. So we just got David here, but then if I make a new a new NPC here, I can go ahead and click on this, and then I'm gonna make another PC or NPC named Eve, and she is going to be another uh, Android. Eve is a combat Android reprogrammed to care for children. She is a tough motherfucker. Okay, and then um, 
And then I can also, you know, I can put that uh, this is uh, Eve. And I can also put in here that she is an Android. And then that's just going to make it easier later for me to uh, search or, or sort everything based on the tags of say that I say that I just want to look up um, interactions involving Eve. Like I can make a, a note or sorry, I could make like a, a journal entry, like a session note, or um, I could make a, a page that's just about Androids that are in my game. And uh, so she's already, you know, she's, she's one of the NPCs, but if I go back up here to my um, root uh, game database, she's there. So, uh, I can, you know, I can make more planets now. Still don't know why it won't let me. I will put it in, put it in the root game database. Okay, we'll figure it out later. Um, so yeah, let's let's do a um, let's do a session. Uh, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go ahead and add a a property to this one, and I want this one to have a uh, a date on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the tag in there. Let's see, session. And then I'm gonna put up here that this is session one. Um, the players awaken from their cryo tubes. And um, <clears throat> this, th this is going to be slightly different because it, it has, uh, it has the, the date in there. So this is just my uh, my session. It's you know it's in the, the root game database, but I can do the same thing, and then I can create a new uh, a new page, and this page is going to be my session notes, and then create another uh, linked database. That is uh, just going to show um, <clears throat> the. Um, it's just going to show my session notes. Go down to tags, contains uh, session, and then I'm going to keep this as a table. And then uh, the reason why I want to keep it as a table is because I just want this to be a list uh, of like, you know, sessions. So I can do session two uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, and then it's gonna it's going to just automatically make a uh, another session. And then it's going to have the the date that it was created in there, and then if I want to, I can add, I can go ahead and, and add uh, tags. Like let's say that session um, it's a page. I'm gonna make that a page. Um, let's say that session one. Is all about Eve, so I can I can put her tag in there, so that I know that if I'm if I'm looking for some for you know for something that happened in the story involving Eve, then I've got her tag right there, and then I can pull up this session, and uh, you know my I can look for my my NPCs, and then I have Eve here. And then I can also just go to the root game database, and then I can look 
or anything involving Eve. Super cool, right? <laughs> and then there's just all kinds of things that we can do in here. Um, Uh, I do want to go ahead and change this because this is annoying me. Where was the where was the image that I used? Oh yeah, like I can. Uh, they have um, uh, all kinds of stuff that's in like their archive. So I'm gonna look for that oh, my Eclipse. Oh, that's right. Which one was that? Oh yeah, that one. And then I can uh, I can move it around so that I have the, uh, the image like where I want it. And then. There, much better. In fact, I'm just gonna get, is there anything in here that I need? I'm just gonna get rid of this. Factory. And then um, later on, what I can do is I can sort of rearrange these and uh, and organize them like um, how depending on on what I want to do right so let's say that I want to make a section for my setting and then oops. And create a page for setting. And then I can put um, can put it that at the top and then I can move planets inside of setting. And uh, just keep that as a, as a page for now. And uh, I can create another folder or another page for, um, let's see, characters. And then I can move NPCs inside of characters. Just put it in there. Okay. And then I want to move characters up below settings. And I'm going to put my, my root game database at the bottom. And then actually I'll put, I'll put planet naming convention inside of setting. So I can just kind of clean things up and, you know, organize them how I want. And uh, I do like to put the, um, uh, I do like to put like the, the pictures at the top. And then like with my NPCs and stuff, I do want to, I want to fill these out a lot more so that I know how to um, how to play the, the 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 characters. So let's see. I'm thinking David. Um, let's see which one was that. And I'm going to 
go back here and I'm going to, oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to put his picture in here. So now I have this when uh, when it pull when I pull up my NPCs, then I'm gonna have my um, my uh, my picture of what David looks like, and let's see, let's go ahead and find a picture for um, This is going to be Eve. This is that show. It's, oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. So we're gonna have this be Eve. And then I'm gonna put her picture down here. Obviously, I can create a new page for my characters. And that's just going to be, whoops. That's just going to be empty for now. And, you know, you can put these little custom icons in the side, uh, which is easier on the eyes, I think. And uh, so, yeah, that's the, um, that's the basic idea. I know that this is like a super long-winded, biased um, kind of review of some of these different systems. Like, uh, I don't know how much time I spent talking about Notion. But I, I really like it because it's so like super, super customizable and there's just so many different things that you can do with this. And then like, let's say that I'm, you know, I'm looking at my notes and I'm like, okay, so you guys are on um, New Eden and, uh, you know, like I can give them the information. This planet was colonized by the Mormons at one point, And then there was also like this, they, this clone, these cloners that sent this fast spaceship and, um, you know, kind of like having it have some imagery and stuff that gives me, puts me in the right place to tell them, to tell my players about what's happening on this world, like when they get there. And, uh, and then uh, if they ask me about a character, they'd be like, oh, well, what does Eve look like? Well, Eve has, um, she's, she's sort of slightly androgynous. She's tall and slim. Um, she has very short hair. Her and David both have very short hair, you know, and then I can give them the information about her. And uh, so, yeah, and then I do want to fill these out eventually so that I have uh, good information about how to play her character. So yeah, I hope that is helpful to you guys. I hope that uh, it's not too long-winded of an explanation. Um, I'm going to put like timestamps in here if there's if you just want to know like how to set up the the root game database and then like do the extra like linked folders and stuff. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh, put timestamps in there. So anyways, yeah, uh, take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.